Welcome to our Sims free play advent hints, tips and tutorials every day on the one up to Christmas I'm going to be sharing with you a little hint for Sims free play and help you to play the game better. Day 17 is all about toddlers. Yesterday we did all about babies so I figured it would be interesting to do a little guide to all the age ranges in Sims free play. So the age range after babies is toddlers. I did say in the babies video that it was pre-teens. Somebody corrected me on it. Yes, I know that toddlers do exist. To be able to have a toddler in your town, you must have completed the quest for toddlers and you can then age a baby up into a toddler. To be able to age your baby up into a toddler, you would need a birthday cake. So you go into baking on a stove, find a birthday cake which costs 5 LPs and 1 day to complete. Once your sim has baked a birthday cake, you can give that to a baby and they will turn into a toddler. Once you have completed the Life, Dreams and Legacies quest though, your sims will just begin to age automatically. So you can see in the middle here, Ella Rossa, this baby, she has a green circle around her, which means that she is aging automatically. She will no longer need a birthday cake. Once that green bar goes all the way around to the end, she will become a toddler. Toddlers are absolutely adorable. I think they are my favourite age range in the game. You can style them like you would any other sim. So with your toddler selected, click on a wardrobe and browse clothes. And there are so, so many cute hairstyles and clothes and just everything for a toddler to me is just adorable. Quite a lot of these outfits and clothes you may not have when you start off with a toddler because you can win them through various quests and events as you're playing the game but they have so many adorable little outfits like look at these these are so cute these are like superhero outfits your toddler has needs just the same as all the other sims they have hunger bladder energy hygiene social and fun they do need the help of adults for some of the needs though. For the hunger they can just go and grab a plate for 10 minutes but also if you have a toddler selected and you click on another sim they will be fed for three minutes which is a quicker option if you would want to do that. They can get fun by playing hide and seek, social by cuddling, talking to, dancing and being fed obviously helps with the hunger need. Let's do be fed. So dad is coming up here to feed our toddler and then she just sits on the floor and eats it. It's so adorable. <laughs> For the toilet need, they can obviously just go and use the toilet themselves. For the energy need, you can use either a chair or a bed. You can get some really adorable toddler's beds. In fact, let's just go into the toddler section of the home store because they have a ton of toys that you can put in the game for them to use. There's a few different cute toddler beds and as you can see so many little toy items for them to use. Quite a lot of the toddler items are LPs though or SPs which is a shame. But back to the needs. The need that they can't really complete themselves is the hygiene. They won't use a shower or a sink. They have to use a bath for their hygiene and they need an adult to do that. If you click on it and there isn't an adult available in the house it will pop up to say new need you need an adult sim to be able to do this action. Here she is, having a little bath, with dad watching over her. Of course the toddler can't do this by themselves. Very irresponsible to let the toddler in the bath by themselves, but how adorable is this? It's so cute, the toddlers. For the fun need, like I said, there's a ton of different toys that you can put down for your toddler to play with. I've just got a few down here for them, there's bookshelves and tea sets and playhouses, so much that your toddler can do for fun. There are three hobbies that your toddler can take part in, finger painting, seashell collecting and toddler playhouse. For the toddler playhouse hobby you will need to have completed the in the clubhouse quest and then you get access to this playhouse where you can do various different actions to complete the toddler playhouse hobby. Finger painting hobby, you will need to have completed the super toddler secret mission quest. And with the finger painting hobby, this is where you can win lots of new clothes for your male and female toddlers. You have a little finger painting easel here and you can create a finger painting 
to complete the hobby. The last hobby that they can do is over at the beach. Now the beach is a pretty advanced location. You needed to have completed the life dreams and legacies quest and built the beach with life orbs. Once you have built it, you can bring your toddler over and you can collect seashells on the beach, which is adorable. So there you go, that is all about toddlers. If you have any other questions about toddlers, leave them down below in the comments and I will do my best to try and answer them for you. But thank you so much for watching. Join me tomorrow for another Sims Free Play tutorial. I will see you then. Bye!